Hello, everyone. Welcome. We want to welcome head coach Don Vaughn. We, we may have be players uh, coming up after, so we'll start with coach's quotes and first a statement from Coach Vaughn. Thank you. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate Harvard winning the ECAC championship. Uh, thought they uh, they played their game tonight. I think their their best players were their best players. Um, and I think any coach would tell you, you're not going to win unless your best players are your best players. And they certainly were tonight. They're, they're a very good hockey team. I think they'll represent our conference uh, very well next weekend in the NCAA tournament. And um, we'll certainly be rooting them on. Uh, you know, we had, we had some chances. We had an opportunity to draw even at the end. And I think we grazed the post. So like always, this team, this Colgate team never quits. Uh, I didn't think uh, perhaps we played our best game early, but uh, we still, I think, fired 32 pucks towards the net, and we had some, some opportunities. Our power play let us down a little bit, I think. Um, again, we had some decent looks, but, you know, that's hockey. But I was overall very pleased with, uh, with how hard our team worked, not only tonight, but what we came back from. And we talked a little bit about that last night. I think a month ago, a lot of people had written this team off. Uh, we dropped out of the top 16, and had all the injuries and we found a way to stick with it. But no one ever wants their season to end like this. But I just told our guys that, you know, every team but one in the country, season's gonna end like ours did tonight. Um, it doesn't make it any easier. But uh, I'm very proud of our team. I'm very proud of uh, the body of work and especially our senior class. Um, the senior class uh, has, come, has, has, been, has been to the uh, ECAC championship three of the last four years. They're one of the winningest classes in, in program history. And uh, I think the body of work over four years, and certainly this year with 22 wins, will be something that at some point in their, in their lives they'll look back here hopefully sooner rather than later and, and really realize and, and understand the great accomplishments that they achieved at Colgate. And every single one of them is an unbelievable student athlete, uh, great character, and uh, I couldn't be more proud. Coach, thank you. We'll start with the student athletes. We have junior Mike Borkowski with us. For questions, see Jared, and please identify yourself in affiliation. Thank you. Yeah, Matt Clarida from Harvard Radio. Mike, uh, Don mentioned you guys hitting the post late. You guys also appear to beat Mike like in the five hole and Kyle Crisco clean that up. I think the game turned on those chances going against you and, and could it have been a much different game, do you think? Um, no, I think the game was one lost on special teams. Um, you know, we were pretty confident in our kill all year and fortunately we weren't able to get it done and 19's a hell of a player. I mean, um, obviously two big goals for them is ends up being the difference. And But I love our resiliency again. And we come back and we never quit. And it's kind of what a Colgate team is is all about. We don't quit and we, um, you know, we fight to the end and I'm proud of that. Other questions for Mike? Mike, Josh Seguin, College Hockey News. Um, just want to talk about this team and the ride it's kind of been. Uh, you guys hit the injury bug and you know kind of fell and was able to pick yourselves back up. Yeah, I've uh, I can honestly say I've never been a part of a group of guys that were tighter. There was 25, 26 best friends on that team, and you know it, it's it's obviously a cliche that you don't have to like everyone on your team, and that was not the case with our team. It was. A collective group of brothers, um, unbelievable people off the rink, better players on the rink. It, it's been a hell of a ride. Obviously, we would have liked to finish it out. And it's been since '90, and we would have liked to be in the team that snapped the drought. But it doesn't take away from the group of guys we got in that locker room. We're all first-class people. Other questions? One in the back, no. Any more for Mike? Okay. Thanks, Bork. Mike, we thank you. We'll let you get back to your teammates. Thanks for coming out. Questions for Coach Vaughn? Right here. Matt Clare to Harvard Radio. Mike mentioned VZ, and you, you nodded. Uh, his second golden night was sort of looked like a video game with the, the stuff he did with the stick. What can you say about uh, the stride he seems to be hitting? Well, I mean, 
I know I, all eyes on, are on, on another player in Boston that plays in the other conference in terms of the Hobie Baker, but in my opinion, he, he deserves equal billing. He is one of the best players that, uh, that we've seen in our league in a long time. I mean, and I've been in this league a long time. He is, uh, he's got unbelievable control over his game. Uh, he seems effortless in his stride. He doesn't seem to break a sweat. I mean, uh, he's a really good, really good hockey player, and I'm, I'm sure that uh, Teddy'd like to have him for his senior year. The rest of us hope he signs. So, um, but uh, he's, uh, he's, he's really that good. Right here. Savannah Aral, Harvard Radio. We talked before the game about how you guys were pretty much playing four defensemen the entire night last night. It seemed that way as well. Do you think maybe getting tired factored into the way this game ended? Perhaps a little bit. Um, we certainly spent a lot of energy last night on those four guys. Spiro played some more minutes tonight for us too, so it, didn't, it wasn't quite as, as uh, demanding on the other guys as last night. But I didn't think we closed as quickly as we did last night, especially along the, the blue line. I thought we held the blue line a little bit better last night than we did tonight. And that sometimes can be a fatigue issue. Um, but again, you also have to give credit to the guys that are coming at you too. I thought they, on the big ice, they used their speed and their finesse and, and they were able to create and generate from there. But again, I thought we had some opportunities to, uh, to draw even, get back in the game. And, you know, unfortunately that's hockey. It didn't go for us tonight. Uh, ben Johnston, Colgate Athletics. Coach, talk about um, John Lidget's goal tonight, bringing you guys back within one and really kind of pushing the team farther? Well, John is, uh, you know, he, he came in as a true freshman and uh, he's a senior. I think our entire junior class are still old, uh, older than John, than John is. So um, I couldn't be more proud of how he's developed as a player, first of all. He's been one of our best players all year long. He kills, kills penalties, our best face-off guy, he and Mike. And, uh, you know, for him to get one to get us close was, you know, just sort of a, a just reward for a guy that's worked so hard to, to put himself in that position. So, you know, he's one of uh, six seniors, as I said earlier, that have left a very positive mark on our program, and we'll be talking about them in the years to come. Up front. Coach, there was a moment where it looked like Gensler was going to go one-on-one -on -one with Mike Lick, but the whistle came uh, without making you comment directly on that because I know you guys don't like doing that. Uh, what was that like to see, you know, a one-on-one -on -one actually end up being two minutes on the penalty kill? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, it, it's the game. I mean, it's, 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 it was frustrating, but, uh, you know, you, you know you, you're not gonna, I'm not going to comment on, on judgment calls. And, you know, we, uh, we had two power plays, and we, we, didn't, we didn't capitalize on them. And like Mike said earlier, our penalty kill has been really good, especially in the last month. And uh, we weren't able to. Uh, we met, had a couple of missed assignments, you know, tonight, and that, that ended up being the difference in the game. Up front corner. Coach, uh, Jake Meyer from the Harvard Crimson. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the play of uh, Murphy tonight? Uh, if it weren't for BC, easily a front runner for most, uh, most valuable play of the tournament. Our Murphy? Yeah, Darcy? Yeah. He's, uh, he was our best player this weekend for sure. He had great energy. His, uh, he's got a great shot. He obviously, you know, we, we witnessed that last night. Um, but he was all over the puck, and, and, and I agree. I thought he was, uh, he was the runner-up maybe tonight for, uh, for the player of the tournament. I thought he, he was that good for us, uh, absolutely. Further questions for Coach? Yes. Brian Sullivan, U.S. College Hockey Online. Coach, um, with the uh, precedent that, that this year's team is set, as well as uh, hopefully a new rink in the works, um, what is the, you know, the legacy of... of uh, this year's team and, and just kind of the future of Colgate hockey looking like right now. Yeah, we're really excited um, Brian, I mean the uh, The new rink actually is 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 uh, almost ready to to uh, come online or well, not online, but we're, we're breaking ground here um, Very soon like probably within the next week or two. So that's really exciting for us at Colgate It's been a, a labor of love for me personally. I think it speaks volumes to what Colgate administration both in our athletic department and and um, the, the overall administration, senior staff at the school, uh, how they value sports at Colgate, but also the hockey program when uh, you know, they're, they're stepping up to build a $40, $50 million facility. I think it, it says that, that hockey's important uh, and all of our sports are important to, uh, to, the, to the university. So uh, this team, you know, it, it's left its mark. I mean, 22 wins, it's, uh, that's a pretty good year for any, any team and certainly this one uh, um, 
will will be you know in, in that category of one of the better teams that, that's ever played at Colgate in terms of wins and losses. But we're looking forward to the new building. Um, we think it will help us in all areas of our programming, not just in hockey, but uh, certainly in hockey from a recruiting standpoint. And um, you know, being in a new facility and, and increase our fan base, and it, it couldn't be a better time to be a part of Colgate hockey. One more. Right here. The conference might get three teams. I think, if I understand the math correctly, Yale might also get in. Quinnipiac and Harvard is in. Do you think, and you mentioned this in the Hobie thing, where a lot of attention has gone to Eichel and the Hockey East, do you think your conference is maybe overlooked too much? Well, I mean, you know, I don't pres you know, proclaim to be a, a mathematician, but uh, obviously we didn't seem to do a good enough job outside the conference and our, you know, our conference schedule to, to, uh, to bolster more teams. Um, you know, we, we have a formula that we use. The coaches seem to buy into it. Um, but that's the first I've heard that Yale's getting into the tournament. So, um, you know, it's a, hard, it's a hard thing to, I mean, I'm glad that Yale's in the tournament, don't get me wrong, but it's a hard thing to explain to the average hockey fan on the street how that happens. Um, you know, so it's, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a challenge. I mean, Adam can tell you everything inside and out, but I, not me, I can't do it. So uh, it's, uh, it's tough. I mean, so, a lot of times 22 wins should get you in the tournament, but obviously um, we didn't want win enough of the right games outside of our conference, and, and we're, we're not playing next weekend. Coach Vaughn, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for a great year as well.